they came to the house and said, you guys have to leave. So it was a matter of grabbing kids, grabbing stuff that was important and just leaving. And then at that point, it was just a cloud of smoke here. The garage was fine. Everything was fine. So he just left and waited it out at the neighbors for a bit. And then we could see the fire trucks and ambulances coming in. So we kind of knew. And just through word of mouth, the neighbors crossed the way. They had a better view to see. Then we knew for sure the garage was done and they were spraying down the house trying to at least save the house which they did thankfully it's just mostly the outside that got some heat damage and, and a little bit of smoke it's a miracle it's a miracle like everything around us is gone other than the house and I'm just so thankful that they worked so hard and, and came when they did because if it would have been a little bit too late then we would have lost we would have lost everything they said at least five to ten minutes. If they wouldn't have been when they were here, it would have for sure have, have come. And it just started, it started way at the highway. It's when it started at four o'clock, we watched it and it just amounted to so much. Like the tractor truck stuff, but unfortunately some sentimental baby stuff and photos that we just had in boxes and storage. My husband's out of town, so he'll get in in the middle of the night sometime tonight, but just in shock. I think it hasn't settled in yet.